everyone. Today we're going to get started with Python, Cosmos DB, and NoSQL. Prereqs, make sure you have a Cosmos account, somewhere to write some code, Python installed, and the Azure CLI. All right, that's it. Let's get started. So the repository we're going to be working with in this video will be linked in the description. We're going to be working inside of the setup.py file. But first, I've provided a .env sample file. And here, make sure to update the values with whatever correspond to your Cosmos endpoint, the database, and the container that you have. Then rename that file to just be .env. We're going to be using these values in our code. We always recommend when working with Python projects to be working inside of a virtual environment. You see, I have one activated here. Additionally, I'm working inside of a dev container. I'll provide that configuration as well if you'd like to do so too. I've got my setup.py open here. And first thing we need to do is add a couple of packages. I use UV. Maybe you're also using UV. Maybe you're using poetry. Maybe you're using pip. Whatever command you use to add packages to your Python project, that's what you're going to use now. And you're going to go ahead and add Azure Identity, Azure dash Cosmos, and then Python dash dot env. Now I have these all installed already. So that was a quick command for me, but it might take a few more moments for you. Great. Now we can go ahead and start importing things. We're going to need OS. And then from the azure.identity package, we're going to need to import default Azure credential. From the azure.cosmos package, we're going to need to import Cosmos client. And then from the Python, Oh, I think it's just called .env. Yes. We're going to need to import low.env. Awesome. Now let's work on getting those values from the .env because we're going to need to use those to authenticate. So first we'll call that load.env, which allows us to read values from the .env file. Then we're going to create a constant here to get the value of our endpoint. We'll do os.getenv and then simply provide in the value that we want to get, which is Cosmos endpoint. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same. But this time we're going to get the database name. And then this is also called database name. And these just correspond to these values here. Great. Now, that's pretty much all we need to, as far as the values, the last thing we need here is to create a credential, which is just going to equal default Azure credential. And this is pretty much all we need to start connecting to our Cosmos DB account in a secure way. Let's create a client. The way we work with our Cosmos is going to be with clients. We have different types of clients. We just need a Cosmos client for right now. So we'll use that Cosmos client that we imported. And then here we send the value of the endpoint plus the credential that we want to use. Now this is key here. We are authenticating via something called keyless auth, which is highly recommended over using API keys, connection strings, and things like that. As long as you have the Azure CLI installed and you're signed in with an identity that has the correct permissions to your Cosmos resource, this will work for you. And this is the approach we recommend to connecting from code to your Cosmos resource. And now we have that client and we can do something like for db in client.list databases. And now we can go ahead and just uh, do a simple print. We'll do a enough print here and we'll say database and we'll just use that client to list all the databases that we have. Now, because this returns a dictionary, I can access the values that it has using uh, these square brackets. And I know they have an ID value here. So we'll just go ahead and try running this. And we should get a list of the databases that we have. In my case, I only have one, the database named book recommendations DB. Now, because we have already set this name up here, we can use that as well to create a different type of client. In order to interact with our databases, we're going to need a DB client. And we connect to this via that Cosmos client. So we'll do db client equals client dot get database client. And all we pass in here is the name of the database, which we have set to the database name. 
constant here. Great. And now we can do another for loop. So for, uh, in this case, container in dv client that list containers. So very similar to what we did before. And then we'll just do a print and we'll say can container container. And once again, we'll pass in here container and I just want the ID so we can get the name of it. And we'll go ahead and run this here. And we should see a list of containers, which I have a couple in this database, recommendations, your preferences and books. And that is it. That's all you need to securely connect to your Cosmos account databases and start working. That's it for this one. Wanted to keep it short so you can see with just a couple of lines, you have everything you need to get started connecting your code to your Cosmos resource securely. In the next couple of videos, we'll be covering creating, reading, updating, deleting, and querying. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to learn more things about Python, Cosmos, NoSQL, and Azure, and overall just new tech skills. All right, see you in the next video.